The Dyatlov Pass Incident. In the winter of 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers led by Igor Dyatlov embarked on a trek through the Ural Mountains in the Soviet Union. Their goal was to reach Oterten, a mountain in the northern Urals. However, they never made it to their destination. On the night of February 2nd, the group set up camp on the slopes of Kolatsyakhol, which means dead mountain in the Mansi language. What happened next remains one of the most baffling and eerie mysteries in modern history. Rescue teams found the hikers' tent in a state of disarray, slashed open from the inside. Footprints in the snow indicated that the group fled the tent in a hurry, some of them barefoot or wearing only socks, despite the freezing temperatures. The first two bodies were discovered near the edge of a forest, under a large cedar tree. They were shoeless and dressed only in their underwear. Subsequent searches revealed the other bodies scattered over several hundred meters. Some of them had suffered severe injuries, skull fractures, chest trauma, and in one case, a missing tongue. However, there were no signs of a struggle or external wounds that could explain such internal damage. Adding to the mystery, some of the victims' clothing was found to be radioactive. Despite numerous investigations and theories ranging from avalanches to secret military tests, the exact cause of their deaths remains unsolved. In 2019, the Russian authorities reopened the case, concluding that an avalanche was likely responsible for the incident. However, this explanation does not satisfy all experts or those who have studied the case extensively. The mysterious circumstances and unexplained elements continue to fuel speculation and intrigue. The Dyatlov Pass incident remains a haunting tale, shrouded in mystery and unanswered questions. The true events that led to the tragic deaths of the nine hikers may never be fully understood, leaving room for speculation and wonder.